Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Papers, Please. At the end of the last episode, you saw a terror strike which cut the day short early. To give you a bit of a backstory on this game, Ostotska and Kolechia were at war for six years. At the end of the war, Ostotska reclaimed the town of, well, half the town of Grestin, so, and Kolechia owned the other half. So this is the need for the checkpoints. And as you can see, some people aren't too happy with that. Right, let's start the game up again. This episode isn't going to be too action heavy. It's mainly going to be showing the uh, the, the upscale the upscaling difficulty. Um, pretty much every day from now on, there's going to be new rules, different rules, changed rules. It's going to be a little bit tougher than what we've seen so far. But, compared to what's to come, it's a picnic, really. In about two weeks time, you'll be praying and wishing that you were back right at the start again. Um, but let's make a start of today. Let's see what's to come. This is the official bulletin for today. Entry for non-citizens is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket, which we'll see momentarily. And with this as well, if they haven't got a entry ticket, you have to challenge them. Because if you deny them without challenging them, you will get a citation. Mainly because they might actually have it on them. And they are eligible for entry. So this is where the discrepancy button comes into play. With the rules, the foreigners require an entry ticket is the only new rule today. And that's really about it. So let's make a start. So here we go. I'm pretty sure the first person is always okay to let through. Right, and one thing I didn't check was the, the, the city. Sorry, a bit of a camera panning problem for a second. Right, here we go. The second person always needs challenging. So you click on the rule and on the desk. I'm pretty sure it's always valid. But just to be on the safe side. Yes. So this little bit of extra checking in this, in this day. But nothing we can't handle. Oh, another card. Thank you. And one thing I'll mention as well, that the valid on date is specifically for that date. Any other date, you deny them. So today is pretty much straightforward, no surprises, thankfully. Thank you for your concern. Here we go, 18th December, definitely not December yet. And one thing I keep forgetting to do, which will come back to bite me in the ass if I'm not careful. Yes, still lucky so far.
He's a bit keen. Uh, papers, please. Just to let you know. If you don't challenge you, challenge him, he will just stay there. But I'm sure we won't see him again. But I think I read somewhere if you close the shutters, something happens. I, I'm not too sure what, but I think it's another way of getting rid of him. He does not look female, especially with the mustache and beard. Nice try. Okay, I know there's some hairy women out there, but um, I'd rather not take my chances. Oops. And as you can see here as well, we've gone from one guard to five guards. Just uh, so hopefully we'll be a lot more safer. And one thing as well, if they've got extra documents on them, you have to give them all, all the documents back to them before they leave. So if you're wondering why they're still standing there, that's probably the reason why. And I keep forgetting to check, but never mind. I mean, like, You'll know at the end of the, end of the day is coming because the clock will start flashing. So yes, th th today was very uneventful. Pretty much like the first day, good way to um, ra raise some money. So despite the extra entry tickets and foreign passports, I still processed two more people in the first day. So we've got a nice healthy sum in the bank. And there's no real changes here, let's go straight to the next day. As I said before in the, in the last video, I will post all the images, the newspapers and such, the changes to the bulletin and the rules uh, in a thread. So things have gotten a little bit stricter. Our Stockton citizens now must show their ID card and the entry permit is slightly changed and we will we'll be making use of the audio transcript. Well, there's a good chance we will do today. Um, but I'll show that when we get there. And there's no changes here. And the basic rules. Citizens must have an ID card. And that's the really only change here. Documents. There's two different, two new pages in the rules and regulations. This is what the, um, our Stotts consistent ID card looks like. And the districts. But you can see the districts on the actual our Stotts page and we have the entry permits which has now changed and not too much more difficulty here but it's a bit, a bit of extra time trying to correlate the information and I'm sure we'll see them very soon so let's just carry on with the day it's always best to see it in action and to explain it 
So here we go. The new entry permit. So just visiting and for eight weeks. So you have to correlate what they're saying to the information on the paper. You have to compare the name and make sure that's correct. You have to make sure the seal is there and also that everything is in date and the passport number. So a little bit of extra time. And I did change city again. Something that I should really have memorized by now. And one thing I'll say as well, spelling is quite important to notice because quite a few times I've been caught out with just one one letter one letter being spelled incorrectly. That's not what we need. There we go. the wrong person. Right, so we go again. So the audio transcripts, just to show you quickly, it's basically a recap of what's been said. We don't, don't have to worry about that right this second. And expire, oh it expires. So again, the difficulty's taken up a slight notch, not too much though. I'm glad you're all happy. Six months, it, but entered by the 15th of November. Sorry. In the next playthrough, there's certain events like like this, that special character there, um, where if you take it in a different direction, um, the storyline, well not the actual main storyline, but um, there is collectibles in the game which I will show off in the next run through as to get most of them you have to bend the rules slightly but seeing as I've been a strict bastard I'm gonna say no for now Whoops. And I didn't check what they said with the information. Would be a good chance to show off the audio transcripts, but as you can see here, good time to show off the citations as well. No penalty for now. And said the third one is when you start getting fined, so that's my mistake for not paying attention. And here we go, A and E. Uh, so that means that either one of these could be forged. That's one thing that threw me out from the start. Oh, he's back. And with what? Cobra Stan. Oh my god. And he he's he's actually drawn a cobra on the front as well. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, um sorry Georgie. But not this time. Uh, please come back with a real one next time. Nice try though. And here is the our Stotskin Citizen card, identity card. Alton. And I don't f mail. You can never be too sure. Okay, not today. This I think it's tomorrow where it goes a bit more in depth with that route. But for now we won't worry about it. 
chosen field. Oh yes, one thing to look out for as well is height and the weight ratios. I forgot to mention that at the start. With the R stops can oh, not matching photo. Again, I'm not paying too much attention. Should we speak well, here we go. And a perfect example, non matching photo again. Redemption. Yes, our stocks consistent in cards have heights and weight on there, which you yeah, would have to pay attention to as well. So, okay, I'm not going to show off the audio transcript just yet. And I didn't check the city again. There we go. I suppose it's a good example, it's my own fault again. Penalty assessed, lost five credits, invalid issue in city, so that's another good way to show it off. And as you can see, passport details are incorrect. So hopefully that's my last citation, but um, you can never tell. So again, another uneventful day, but also ramping up the difficulty just a little bit more. So the new item on this screen is the penalties, which takes five off me. Made 55, lost 55, so not too bad. Enough money to carry us through. And Vince Lestrade's whereabouts unknown. I'm sure he might be making an appearance soon. You're now authorised to detain suspicious individuals. Interrogate discrepancies to enable detention option. So... That will come up momentarily. But for now, let's start a new day. Nothing new in the rules. And... Right, I'll show off the detaining um, option. These passport numbers are incorrect. So, well, obviously one of them is forged. I'd say, at the moment, it'd be quicker just to, just to d deny him. But, I was just showing off the mechanic there. There's no differences in the rules th today, it's just the detaining option is available now. Oh, Vince Lestrade, welcome. Well, again, you can deny him and get him detained, but his paperwork checks out. In the next run through, I will be doing something slightly different. Oh well, tough. Let's 
not my problem, buddy. Whoops. I don't even look at the birthday. Oh. I never tend to look at that. It's not one thing I normally uh, associate with being f different. Or false, should I say. But then again, it's my own fault for not checking. She's one mean looking woman. Oh, someone's happy. Okay, he hasn't really said why he's coming in, but I'm sure those words he's, he's emigrating. Be kind. I'm always kind. I saw him. And... I'm just going to be a complete bastard. Sorry. Good luck. Have a good day. No, oh, damn it. There we go. So, again, so today is just an ordinary day in the life of a passport inspector. Your wife? But um, can't be too safe. Nick 
Nicola. Surely Nicola's a woman's name. Okay. Um, well, good luck, Nicola. And here we go again. Another uneventful day. Um, just showing you a new new mode. And we have an option to upgrade the booth, which is only $5. It can save time. I mean, you see, some days when you know you can earn some cash, a good half a second is always good. It always means you can squeeze in maybe one or two extra people. So 14 people processed that day, which isn't too bad, considering that we've um, got the extra documents. We're on par with the first day, so I'm happy. I'll do one more day today and I'll end it there, which is going to end on another cliffhanger. But um, I'll leave it at the point where things start getting a bit more exciting. And Vince Lestrada has been spotted in our Stotska. Well, he had the correct paperwork, so. So here we go. Travellers entering for work require a valid work pass. So another extra document, which you will see shortly. Documents, work pass, which needs a seal. Are you again? I'll show you it when it when when it arrives. And workers must have a work pass. So that's the only real difference is today. So today should be a nice normal day, and the fun shall start the next video. So, again, first person generally has uh, the correct documents, just as, as a kind of tutorial, I guess. And normally, it's all fine. Food service, and you're giving me a. Okay, well. Uh, all the paperwork's correct. Somehow, I don't think you go into the food service unless you're going to be a chef at a strip club, but. Um, oh. can pause this or I'll be posting the image on the front. For now, let's just carry on. Basically a man is after her, who's apparently dangerous, named Darry Ludum. And apparently he's a dangerous man and she doesn't want me to let him through. If he has the paper, paperwork, then I see no problem. Whoops. Uh, talking and not paying attention. Um, with... What's his name? Lud Lud with Dari Ludden, I know some people, or quite a few people, have a problem of how to deal with him. A few weeks. So with the audio transcripts, when you notice something out of um, correlation, you have to click on the audio transcripts and then click on the information, which here is the days. Normally, I mean, nine, nine out of ten times, they'll correct themselves with the right information. It's very rare that I've seen someone get it wrong twice in a row. Yes, but this guy who... Um, this lady has given me a letter about. Uh, a lot of people have problems with actually um, working out how to deal with him. And um, yeah, in the next next playthrough, I'll show you how to deal with it. And I need a work permit, mate. Are you playing it? Oh. 
Oh. I'm sure that's the last time we'll see him. You do that. It's nice that you're visiting. But... Here's the guy. It works at the same place. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure all his details are correct. So if you do reject or say no to him, I mean detain him, sorry, then you will get a citation. There is a way of dealing with it, but because I'm being strict, and if everyone's paperwork's in order, I'll let them through. But said that the next playthrough, I will show you how to deal with him. Quite easy to overlook certain things, but um, probably doesn't help that I'm talking, <laughs> not paying too much attention. And I think that's where we're going to end it. It's getting a bit more uh, intense. So, you've seen this screen before. The only real difference to show is that we now have uh, the option, well, not the option, one of these bars is filled. And it just shows you which upgrades you have. So, at the moment, we have one. Doesn't actually give you any sort of more information on the symbols. Space for the discrepancy bar. And uh, yes, another terrorist attack. And as you can see, the documents are getting slowly more... Well, they're building up slowly and they're getting a bit more involved. And I'd say now, even though it's a bit more complicated at the moment, it's a picnic compared to what's to come. And um, yeah, the game gives you quite an easy, easy start. I mean, the first week's pretty simple. Um, nice easy run up, but the next couple of weeks are going to be, um, yeah, lots going to be happening. I just thought I'd mention as well that I looked up the actual, um, well, in the first video, didn't know how to pronounce the, the country Kalichia, but on the Papers Please website, it says to pronounce the name Arstotska, it links you to Google Translator with the Polish, um, Polish in, uh, it translates to English. And doing the same with Kolecha actually pronounces it Kalisha. So I've tried it with the other names as well. I wouldn't bother pronouncing them, but uh, at least I have the actual proper name for it. But anyway, I'll, um, I'll leave it here. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.